President Trump has declared DACA dead, dimming the prospects for hundreds of thousands of young undocumented immigrants who were granted permission under the Deferred Action Against Childhood Arrivals program to live and work in the United States. In a tweet early this morning, Trump wrote, quote, DACA is dead because the Democrats didn't care or act, and now everyone wants to get onto the DACA bandwagon, no longer works, must build wall and secure our borders with proper border legislation. Democrats want no borders, hence drugs and crime." Unquote. Trump's latest tweet followed a flurry of attacks on DACA on Sunday. Easter, in which Trump also threatened to cancel NAFTA, the North American Free Trade Agreement, unless Mexico helps pay for a wall along its border with the U.S. Trump also called for Senate Republicans to end the filibuster and complained of caravans heading to the U.S. That was an apparent reference to a migrant caravan of about 1,100 people organized by the group People Without Borders, which is currently in Oaxaca and bound for the U.S. The migrants are fleeing rampant violence and economic deprivation in their home countries. Most of them are from Honduras, where the U.S.-backed President Juan Orlando Hernández was recently inaugurated for a second term, despite allegations of widespread election fraud in the November election. This is José Avila Luna, who says he was forced to flee Honduras amidst per political turmoil following the election. Los políticos quieren tapar las cosas con un dedo, aparte que roban las elecciones y todo eso. Bueno, hay un solo relajo en mi país. Hay un solo relajo. En cuestiones de política hay un solo relajo, la real verdad. Y sobre la canasta básica, pues, eh, siempre alza la canasta básica, alza a la energía eléctrica, a las facturaciones de energía eléctrica y todo eso. Entonces, eso nos está agobiando bastante lo que es la moneda.